What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we skipped over a lot of plot stuff with the introduction of Majid and Alibaba and Futaba. It's all stuff we've seen before. So, most of that was skipped, but we are steadily making our way through the days in order to begin Futaba's Palace. We were able to get a lot of stuff watched and video games played. So, we were at least able to accomplish something. In this episode, there is not much more we can do, though we are getting pretty close to getting access to Futaba's Palace. So, we're gonna go straight to bed. We've got the school assembly tomorrow, so that's fun. And hopefully we'll be able to be... Have free roam over where we can go soon. So let's go to bed. So just in case you're wondering, if you're making infiltration tools, at rank 6 you get access to all of them at this point. So... There might have been some that we weren't really able to craft before. In fact, I'm gonna need to at some point look into the infiltration tools just to show you guys all the ones that are available. Cause I'm not entirely sure the tutorial really showed all the ones that were available. Well, that'll be something for the future. Oh man. After a lot of cutscenes, we are finally able to go into Futaba's palace. Interesting that even Mona's costume doesn't change when all of our stuff is kind of set. Kind of interesting, but nonetheless, the beginning portion is still pretty much the same. So, I'm going to enter, but I'm still going to skip ahead because this isn't any different whatsoever. Interesting seeing all of these symbols here. Were all these here before? Probably, but let's go. So, after a brief look into Futaba's palace, we're back! Alright, well, now we've pretty much started her palace. And boss is still not here. <laughs> Damn it. Well, I guess we have another day to ourselves then. You know, we can't leave LeBlanc. And I'd rather not try to do uh, Starfornius. Can we make curry? Hey! What do you wanna do? Alright, sure. Let's let's just go and try to make some curry. Doesn't hurt to show some more curry trivia. Let me explain. Oh man, chocolate? Chocolate and curry? It can be added to enhance spices. I guess a sweet and spicy texture to it, I guess? Interesting? But only in trace amounts, otherwise it just doesn't taste good. Not if you don't put in a lot. Alright, I get the feeling that just whenever you make curry, you always just get points and guts. Alright, so that's two Master Curries. Well, then. And that shall be it for today. Today is in the 25th, not in the episode. Now, then.
All right, so now the official palace has begun. I don't know why it's saying, hey, you should try to do requests in Mementos. Yes, I know that game. All right, so what's available today? Well, we've got a few people trying to contact us. There's nothing that I really have set up for today. Um, nothing really much else going for me. I can show off Jin Jinboko, though. Uh, before we leave, though, can I talk to Boss now? Oh, yeah. Hey! I ace them. Oh. Okay, I thought you were just being a smart Alec, but no, no, that makes sense. Aw, oh, thanks, boss. All right, so the dandy mirror. What does that do? Dandy mirror has counter strike. Ooh, that is not bad. Not a bad accessory. All right, cool. All right, before we do anything, let's maybe head on over to the second hand shop. Oh, yeah, I thought that they had another game. So yeah, you can buy Gambler Goemon from here. We'll go ahead and do that. Cool, so that gets us another game that we can get. Uh, while I'm out and about, I am also going to head on over to Shinjuku. So that way we can get the uh, game cheat codes. Take your time. There it is, game secrets. All right, yep. so we got another game that we can play. We've got a book that we, we can read. Unfortunately, we're not gonna have any spare time on the bus, or bus, why do I say bus? Time on the train in order to get that. Nor do we have school anymore, so I'm just gonna have to find some free time to do that. But anyway, we have plenty of time to be able to increase our confidants. So, you know, today, I've got a death persona, right? It's been a while since I last checked my personas. Uh, yep, still got Matador. So, you know what? Today, we're gonna be spending some time with Takemi. Oh. You're very welcome. had to tell me that now well I mean at any rate I am glad that we saw it through to the end though Sounds wonderful, actually.
All right, see you around. So after that, what are we doing this evening? Well, we don't exactly have a whole lot going on. Oya wants to spend time with us. And that seems to be about it. Um, you know, we haven't spent a lot of time with the twins, so we should probably do that. But I will head on over to Jim Boko real quick. What would you like? So, the bookstore here, again, not really all that different. They sell the exact same books, and they still take three sessions to read fully. Like I mentioned, the only difference is that you can get Speed Reader earlier, so that three sessions is cut down to two sessions. But, again, not really so good this time around, since... You know, you don't get the big reward of having Speed Reader as a final reward. But if you still need some extra social points, they're available. Yeah. Alright, so after that, we'll go ahead and head on over to Shibuya. Like I mentioned, it's been a while since we've done anything with the Velvet Twins. So... This is also a time-gated... Thing. So it's better to try to do today. these sooner rather than later, even though they are available any night. Now. So next place they want to go is... One offers up faith and words of devotion. Shrine in Kichi Joji unlocked, do we? Oh no, it's the church in Kond. Okay. Sorry, I get. I always forget that it's like, oh yeah, there's just a a church. It's not a shrine. It's a legit church in this game. Even though we go there all the freaking time because of Hifumi. What'll you do? So I guess we're taking the twins to the church. You mean a church? Ben. Guide me, inmate. All right, then. No, no, he's... I guess you could call him a messenger? He's a priest.
No, 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 no. Less, much less violent than that. It's a confession booth. <laughs> Yeah, where you confess your sins. Yep. Oh dear. What are you saying? Ah, jeez. And yet she does that every time we see her. Excuse me? Yes, please don't blow up half of Conda. So, did you learn to be at least a little kinder to others around you?
but the point is to repent and not do it again. I <sighs> should have known better. Well, uh, that's because sometimes people need to have a little extra help. And in praying to God, or gods, depending on their religion, it can be a kind of support. Hey, we offer the similar sort of support. Not in the divine sense, but still. Wait, what? I do find it very odd that they do just say the gods when they are in a church. A monotheistic church? Bit odd, but... Whatever. <laughs> we get some air car. <laughs> Turn. Right. Well, that was a thing that happened. I mean, we get some air card from that, and that's a really good spell card, so I guess I shouldn't complain. Uh, what is it now? Wait, what? what we do tomorrow. Ugh. Hey. All right, so Yusuke's here. So in the original game, your party members would kind of just come over to LeBlanc quite often during the summer. Now, we didn't have any reason to go and do anything with them. But, you know, since we have plenty of you know, opportunities to go and spend time with confidants, I don't think it's really a bad idea to just kind of spend these extra days with, you know, some of our party members. I mean, we could hang out with Makoto, and that's really it. Uh, but I am first going to head on over to Kichijoji real quick. I don't have my umbrella, though. So, the reason I'm hanging on over to Kichijoji first 
is that heading down the alleyway here, we have Sakai. So he has another request for us. So, this is very important, because this is basically, like, I believe the only key item that Sakai will trade us. And it's only available from July 26th to July 30th. So, in essence, this is the only missable book. And it was the only, only book I didn't get a chance to read in my first playthrough. So... During this time, we need to trade an MRE ration for fact factorization guide. So, MRE ration. So, I did buy a few rations when we've been over at EY shop. And that's where we need to go. And thankfully, we actually do have a few of them. So, thankfully, we can do this. So I didn't remember which ration I needed, but I did know that I needed rations, which is why I bought this stuff a lot earlier. So let's make a trade. Awesome. And this is a new book for me. realize that he had just specific dialogue. Maybe if I did this instead of the original Persona 5, I would have gone out of my way to get all of the trades. Well, that's beside the point at this rate. For now, since we've got our trade taken care of, let's go ahead and head back to... Oh. Wait. Crap. I just realized... Hmm. By leaving LeBlanc, I can no longer spend time with Yusuke. Crap. Well. <laughs> uh, where was my last save? All right, it was right before Takami. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, hmm. Tell you what. Just in the interest of saving time I think I may just do the summer events similar to how I'm doing the alternative uh, lovers scenes where there will basically just be uh, the event at the end of the episode or I might hmm Maybe, because another thing that people have been wanting is to just kind of have a compilation of all of these things. So, it didn't make sense to do the lovers ones, since all but one would be lovers. And so, it would be kind of weird to put it all in a separate video. So, that's why I chose not to do those in a separate video. But I think for the summer events... The summer events, I think I can put all of those in a separate video. So, once we're done with the summer months and can get back into Shujin, then we'll go ahead and sh show off the compilation of all of the different summer events that you can spend with Yusuke and Ryuji and Futaba 
Uh, but until then, I guess we are just going to be doing other things. I guess it's best of both worlds. You guys see the alternate scenes and I can continue to make progress towards things. To my confidants. So, I guess today, instead of spending time with Yusuke, we're gonna go and spend some time with Makoto. Oh. No, no, it's not a problem at all. <laughs> okay, so the actual thing that you're supposed to respond with is to try to reach out to her. But because we have enough points, and because I just like messing with Makoto, well, I think there's only one thing you can do Fist of Justice! Okay, okay. I was joking, Makoto. Just just go and talk to her. I'm pretty sure that would be fine. Okay, okay. Jeez, learn to take a joke. Talk to you soon. Rain, huh? You like that there's just so many instances that you can just mess with Makoto? So anyway, unfortunately Yusuke is not here. Uh, but we do have a crossword puzzle that's available. Hey, hey! I guess that is one good thing about just trying to hold off the summer event is because then we would have missed a crossword puzzle. And then that would put me even further behind with all this crap. So I guess it works out in the end. All right, so we have, the, the clue is these gauge student knowledge. And it's the thing that all students despise. Finals. Everyone hates finals. Doesn't matter if you're a smart student or not. Everyone hates finals. Uh, so much usually relies on them. Like, it's usually some percentage of your grade is just on the final exam. Uh, another thing that I just don't miss from school. Granted, I do take some online classes occasionally for my work, so that's usually fun. It's like, oh man, I gotta do schoolwork again. But it's not usually as bad as when I was back in high school or college. All right. I see. Nice. Then again, while I'm doing those classes, it's just a single class, and I'm also working full time. So, bit of a difference. So anyway, we can spend time with Hifumi, and we can spend time with EY. Uh, out of curiosity's sake... What is... the thing that we got? Factorization guide. Oh, that is interesting. So this book increases the effectiveness of studying, so you get more knowledge points afterwards for studying. I guess I could see why that would be under an optional book, since, I mean, at this point in the game, no, I mean, you could still be spending a bit of time studying. 
It's highly doubtful that you'd have maxed it out by this point, so I don't see a reason why you couldn't. But that's besides the point. Tonight, we are going to be spending time with Hifumi. So let's go. Yeah, what's up? You know, maybe it's not my place to say this, but with her as your mother, you've got a lot to deal with, Hifumi. Oh, well, maybe you could clear up some sort of misunderstanding. Good night. Hmm? Oh, it's from Kasumi. trip with Kasumi? Yo. So we can potentially hang out with Kasumi. Ryuji's here in LeBlanc, so there's that. On wants to go into the palace. Um, I think we've got enough time to do one more thing today. I think I've got Phoenix on me. Um, do I? Yes, Phoenix is right below Kaguya. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, let's go ahead and spend some time with Kasumi today. Um. Oh, there we go. If you're wondering, it said that Kasumi's not responding. Ow. <laughs> Keiji Joji? All right then. Senpai? Glasses? So, you're looking to buy some glasses? Oh, okay. I thought you were wearing contacts or something.
Okay, I guess I can be your glasses model for today. Thank you so much. I think that's good. Makes me want to tick him off and say, Persona! What? Nothing. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Kind of have a bit of a modern look to them. would suit your dad, though? I mean, it might look fine on me, but do you think you could see this on him? It didn't matter how you respond to that one. Huh, not at all. Let's keep going. <laughs> you could also say, of course, and you get the same amount of points. in the way. Wow. They're pretty cumbersome though. Remember these for later. This is I have the urge to make bear puns and I hate it a lot. Just looking at too many options. Just trust your instincts. The first one that you see that you think would look good on him, go for it. It didn't matter how you respond to that one. red frame to it. I think it's a good choice. Then it's set. Thank you for bringing me here. <laughs> That's a jerk move. Ah, you don't need to thank me. It wasn't a problem at all.
It didn't matter how I responded to that one. Well... Kasumi, everyone deals with failure. Sometimes you succeed and sometimes you don't. The important thing is to just brush yourself off and try it again next time. Like I said, everyone deals with that. I'm still here for you. If it helps you get out of that slump, then we'll work at it together. friends do. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of sound like Kasumi suffers some form of depression, but the best thing to do is to just continue to help her out in any way that we can. It may not be much, but it's all we can do. So anyway, for reaching rank 4, we get access to a new ability. I don't know how to exactly pronounce it, but I'm just gonna call it Chains Hook. I'm more than certain that's not how you pronounce it, but what Chains Hook allows you to do is that it allows you to use your grappling hook in order to ambush enemies. Basically, we can ambush enemies from a lot further back just by using the grappling hook and then using that to get close to them. It is a really nice ability to have and allows us to safely ambush enemies from a lot further back. It's a really nice ability, not really necessary, kind of given that we can just kind of hide in the shadows and then jump from them to ambush. But if you're not near any sort of hiding spot, just waiting for an enemy to turn around and then just rushing at them is actually a really nice way to just get the jump on enemies. And now we get the tutorial of it. So yeah, so like I mentioned, it allows us to ambush enemies from much further back. And it still allows us to begin an ambush, so you're not really sacrificing anything. All it is, is that you trigger the ambush 
from a further distance. And yes, you can get access to this ability prior to going through Kaneshiro's Palace, which is why it's being used as the example. I just missed a day that I could have hung out with Kasumi, and because she's so infrequent, um, I missed my opportunity to show it off there. But we'll have plenty of opportunity to show this off once we're in Futaba's Palace. And, as an added bonus... Enemies can be inflicted with certain status ailments as well, so they may start off being e either dizzied, confused, or under fear. So, pretty good! It's pretty good to have this ability. Alright. I'm game for something harder. All right. And like always, we get five more HP by spending time with Kasumi. I'll be heading home now. All right, see you around. What's up? And... <laughs> oh man. Well, I'm definitely glad to hear that. Funny enough, you could also say, you should be more confident, and you'd get the same amount of points. Which is really weird, but okay. Good on you. All right, see ya. Ah, you're back. All right, so with that taken care of. Um, I don't think there's really anything else. Uh, wait, what? Oh, Makoto wants to go see a movie! Okay, well, actually, I'm curious. There should have been an opportunity for us to have gone seeing a movie with On? But I don't think I ever saw that pop up. Yeah, I mean, she went and talked to us about exams, and I know that there was a time that we could have gone and seen a movie with her. I think, hmm, I think it was the same day as the meat festival was when we could have gone to a movie with On. I'm just trying to look through my notes to see if there is anything here. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the meat festival? Where was the meat festival? Hmm. Yeah, because my notes just say festival, but I think I remember seeing somewhere that On could potentially ask you out to see a movie with her. So I guess if you don't go to the festival, you can spend time with... But no, that can't be right, because you have to go to the festival. Hmm. I'm not sure. But, at any rate, you know, I think we could probably just go see the movie with Makoto. It's a little bit of a shame to not be able to spend time with Confidants this evening, but 
Why not? We don't get a chance to see movies all that often. We may as well try to show off as many with our friends as we can. Try to cut ties with me, then you come back for more. I'll kill you. Boss, boss, no, that bastard shot him. Boss, She shouts out Fist of Justice when fighting shadows. You honestly didn't see this coming? So, we get some more <laughs> stat points and guts. You're right. No, not at all. You like these kinds of movies? Go for it. Do you think? Thank you. I'm glad I can help make your evening. All right, let's go. Uh. <sighs> now what? Is it Yusuke? Huh? Well, this is a surprise. Akechi wants to go with us to an aquarium. You know, why the hell not? And in doing so, we get access to a brand new area, Shinagawa. So we could potentially have access to Shinagawa earlier if we read that aquarium book, or we can just kind of spend time with Akechi right. and just unlock it this way. Yeah. <sighs> Sounds lovely. No, not at all. In fact, it actually feels pretty nice here. What, just look at fish all day? It's actually kind of soothing. Huh? The heck are you doing here, Olya? Yep, 
Why are you here at an aquarium? Oh, right. Your actual job. Objections. See ya. Yeah, that's... That's a really long story. So about these fish... <laughs> people person. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjet. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. I'm certain all along. It's so wet out. I'm crushed, Akechi. We spent all that time at the aquarium, and this is how you repay me? I know, it's pre-recorded. Let me have my little mini-drama. Anyway... With that, I think we are probably good to call it a day here. He's trying to contact us, anyway. Ah, uh, oh yeah, of all people. Alright, so with that... We'll call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. We've got plenty of time before we need to go and steal Futaba's heart. Um, I'm trying to look through my notes. It looks as though... The last time I did this, it was on the 31st that I went into the palace. So, assuming there isn't anything too pressing, we could probably do the same thing this time around. So, we'll have the evening tonight, the entirety of the 30th, and then on the 31st, we can start to infiltrate Futaba's palace. So, a few extra days of just spending time with people, and then 
palace time. So until then, everyone, take care.